What are the features of earthworm? Do you think earthworms are cool creatures that are fun to play with? Or they are icky, creepy, slimy crawlies that you'd rather avoid? But these earthworms are a farmer's best friends because of a multitude of services they provide that improves soil fertility and consequently plant health. Earthworm is a radish brown terrestrial invertebrate that inhibits the upper layer of the moist soil. The common Indian earthworms are Ferretima and Lumbricus. Let's learn about the morphology and anatomy of an earthworm. Earthworms have a long cylindrical body. The body is divided into more than a hundred short segments which are similar and called as metamers which are about 100 to 120 in number. The dorsal surface of the body is marked by a dark median mid dorsal line while the ventral surface is distinguished by the presence of genital opening. The first body segment of an earthworm is called the peristomium or buccal segment which contains the mouth. In a mature earthworm, segments 14 to 16 are converted by a prominent dark band of glandular tissue called clatillum. This dark band makes the body divisible into three prominent regions, pre-clitella, clitella and post-clitella segments. Four pairs of spermatical apertures are situated on the ventrolateral sides of the intersegmental grooves that is fifth to ninth segments. In the female earthworm, a genital pore is present in the mid-ventral line of the 14th segment. While in the male earthworms, a pair of genital pores is present on the ventrolateral sides of the 18th segment. Besides this, numerous minute pores called nephridiopores open on the surface of the body. In each body segment except the first, last and clatillum, there are rows of S-shaped setae embedded in the middle of each segment. Setae can be extended or retracted. Their principal role is in locomotion. The body wall of the earthworm is covered externally by a thin non-cellular cuticle below which is the epidermis, two muscle layers and an innermost columnic epithelium. The epidermis is made up of a single layer of columnar epithelial cells which contain secretory gland cells. The alimentary canal is a straight tube and runs between first to the last segment of the body. The mouth opens into the buccal cavity from segment 1 to 3 which leads to the muscular pharynx. A small narrow tube, esophagus present in 5 to 7 segments, continues into a muscular gizzard present in 8 to 9 segments, help in grinding soil and decaying leaves. The stomach extends from 9th to 14th segment. Calciferous glands present in the stomach neutralize the humic acids of soil. Intestine starts from the 15th segment onwards and continues till the last segment. The characteristic feature of the intestine is the presence of an internal median fold of dorsal wall called typhlosol. This increases the effective area of absorption in the intestine. The alimentary canal opens to the exterior by a small rounded aperture called anus. This completes the anatomical description of earthworm. Let's solve a few important questions from medical entrance exam based on earthworms. Question 1. Clitellum in earthworm is present in the segment 1, 4 to 6, 2, 6 to 8, 3, 16 to 18, 4, 14 to 16. This question was asked in Ames 2014. Solution In a mature earthworm, segments 14 to 16 are covered by a prominent dark band of glandular tissue called clatillum. Hence, option 4 is correct. Question 2 Calciferous glands help in the neutralization of 1. Sulfuric acid 2. Humic acids 3. Nucleic acid 4. Hydrochloric acid. This question was asked in JIPMA 2015. Solution Calciferous glands present in the stomach neutralize the humic acid of the soil. Hence, option 2 is correct. This concludes our video on the features of the earthworms. To know more about it, please watch our next video.
Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.